Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Dr. Hilary. I'm currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, Crown and Bridge, and also a part-time YouTuber. So I'm receiving a lot of questions regarding when can we expect NEET MDS 2023. So, uh, guys, it could be in December, okay, as is used to be earlier, but uh, it might, uh, you know, get postponed or maybe we can expect it in March 2023 or maybe December 2022, okay, or maybe January 2023. I, I, I'm not really sure, but this is what I'm uh, expecting. And uh, in this video, I have shared a six months complete plan or strategy for NEET MDS which covers all these subjects plus uh, two revisions before your NEET MDS considering it in the uh, Feb end or maybe in the March. But I have divided subjects in such a way that you will complete your course by third week of December if you will follow this timetable. Okay, there is no tailored way of preparing for NEET MDS. But yeah, whatever suggestions I am giving you or maybe the sequence of subjects which you should follow so that it ease your preparation and it deepens your understanding for NEET MDS. So you can come up with your own plan and strategy of course and if you feel like it is good enough for you, you can follow this timetable as well. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe it and hit that bell icon so that you, you can get the notification of my each and every videos. You don't miss out on anything. Also, you can uh, join my telegram channel where you know we share updates related to NEET MDS exams, counseling and uh, uh, many more. Okay, and also on my Instagram, I'm sharing my daily life, my daily cases, my PG life. So you can become part of it. So you can follow me on Instagram as well. All the links will be in the description box below. So now any further ado, let's get started. So I hope you all are ready with your notebook, your pen and a cup of coffee because this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to describe the whole preparation strategy for upcoming six months into great detail. Okay, so stay tuned till the end and also do share this video with your friends. So we'll start our preparation from July. Okay, in this video, I have shared a timetable which is starting from July till the December third week. You will be completing all your 18, 19 subjects. Okay, and then you will start your revision. So we are assuming that NEET MDS will be somewhere in December, January. Okay, and if it get postponed maybe in Feb or March, then that is the bonus time which we'll get to uh, revise and to refine our preparation. So uh, guys, for uh, July plan of action for you guys is four subjects I'm giving you, okay? And in each week, you have to target each subject, okay? So one subject per week, starting from dental histology because it is a very basic subject. It will also help you to understand other dental subjects well okay followed by anatomy obviously very 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 important if you want to you know understand the oral surgery better and then followed by general surgery so all these subjects are interlinked and somewhere it will help you to understand the other subject better if you will follow the sequence okay after all there is no tailored method to prepare for NEET MDS but I can just give you hints and uh, some of the suggestions and at the end of this video, maybe you can design your own plan and you can share it with me on my email address. I'll be more than happy. And if you still have any queries, obviously you can write it down in the comment section below. So our plan of action for August will be, will be studying the most important subject, which is oral pathology and medicine. It is also very vast. So the next subject is oral radiology, which is very short. Okay. You can do it. You will not require a week to complete this subject. Whereas for oral path and medicine, maybe you will require eight to 10 days. So that's how I have uh, given it here. Then pharmacology, guys, I would suggest that don't read pharmacology in a go. Okay. Make five small segments of it. Okay. And then start uh, reading pharmacology one portion every month. 
ओके बिकॉज इट विल सी वॉट विल हैपन इज एक तो दिस इज अ वेरी वॉलेटाइल सब्जेक्ट ओके इफ यू विल स्टडी इट ऑल टूगेदर यू विल एंड अप रिमेम्बरिंग नथिंग सो इट इज बेटर दैट यू डू इट इन टू चंक्स एंड इट विल हेल्प यू टू रिटेन एज वेल एंड टू रिवाइज दो चंक्स एट टाइमली इंटरवल एज वेल ओके एंड द लास्ट सब्जेक्ट इज पब्लिक हेल्थ नो मैटर हाउ मच यू हेट दिस सब्जेक्ट बट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम नीट एम डी एस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इट इज वेरी इजी वेर इट comes to mcqs okay you don't have to write descriptive answers of public health here so don't hate this subject but do it with interest then uh for september we'll be doing dental anatomy which is again will be easy subject for most of the dental students okay followed by pedodontics and orth orthodontics as these two subjects are again overlapping there is a lot of content which is you know common between pedo and ortho so it is better if you will do it together okay and then you will do the second part of your pharmacology then for the october i am suggesting that you should start with general medicine okay it is another volatile and very vast subject followed by physiology followed by dental materials and prosthodontics okay uh, i'll suggest that you should study these two subjects together it will help you to understand prostho better if you know about the dental materials okay so first to read prostho then read uh, uh, first read dental materials then read prosthodontics okay followed by the third portion of pharmacology but i would i will suggest you here that this third chunk of pharmacology keep it little bit lighter or easy uh, chapters like you know local anesthesia or maybe general pharmacology okay so that because here in in october we have almost three subjects which are very much vast and volatile okay so keep a easy section of pharmacology here in the november we'll study general pathology microbiology conservative and endodontics and fourth part of pharmacology and in the december this is the last segment where we'll be completing our pharmacological last part okay periodontology and biochemistry then in the last week of december you have to start with your first revision so as you guys can see that we don't have much of the time this time okay so you you cannot waste your time if if you are sincere about cracking neat mds if you are sincere about getting a good seat then i think you should not waste your time at all and try completing each and every subject in a week okay whatever is left is uh, suppose that you are able to complete biochemistry only 70% okay in 7 days it's fine leave the another 30% for the revision part okay when you will be revising biochemistry do the 30% of the biochemistry first and then revise the uh, portion which you have already covered but don't give more time to any one subject and then your other subjects might have to compromise okay especially for this batch i would suggest that be very much uh, vigilant about the time which you have it is really uh, you know less time which you have this time compared to the other batches who used to get it okay so we are pray so we are praying and hoping that your exam will be in march but it could be in december also that only time will speak okay but we have to start our preparation considering that exam will be in december or january then in the january if exam is you know delayed then we can do the revision of uh, these subjects conservative endodontics omfs public health pedo ortho general medicine physiology so this is just uh, i have uh, given a suggestion to you for the revision part but what you can do is you can uh, classify all these subjects as per your difficulty and understanding level okay those subjects which you find are very difficult for you start revising them first okay followed by moderately difficult subjects and easy subjects you keep it at end for the revision okay and in the revision it should be very quick if you have given 7 days to complete one subject earlier then your then your revision should be completed in 3 days okay this should be your target and this much efficiency you need to bring to complete the whole syllabus and to revise it twice before your neat mds exam okay i personally recommend that at least you should revise twice or thrice before your neat mds okay so keep a very good hold on the time which you have 
and in the february okay the remaining subject so but here for the revision follow that strategy of difficult moderately difficult and easy subjects also guys i want to share you regarding the spot revision notes uh, we have launched it uh, last year and it has helped many many uh, neat mda students and we are receiving very positive response from them it is uh, not meant for monetary purpose but it is available uh, for a very student friendly rates it is just to help you guys focus on those topics which are very much important from neat mds point of view okay so if you are missing on any subject or if you are feeling that yeah i i, I don't like this subject much maybe you can just go through this revision notes and whatever content is given here you can just refer to that and that will be very much sufficient because we have combined this data from the textbook as well as mcq books so it will benefit you guys hugely okay so uh, that's all for this video so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. And please do share this video and support my efforts to help your preparation.